morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And I think I've lost my stuff that I wanted to use. So I'm gonna go back to the shop. I need to clean out. Hold on, it's gonna be loud for a second. Working on taxidermy stuff. Anyways, I need to clean out the chicken's water. So, take y'all along. Whew. Sorry, that was a lot of pausing. I know it was, that was probably annoying, but I was trying to get out of there because it was kind of loud because we've got burners going from taxidermies. Taxidermist. <laughs> Woo! It's been a long week. Anyways, I'm gonna clean out the chicken water, all the waters. We have um, some rain moving in tonight. Today, really. And I just wanna get it done before then. And we also had to work outside all day today to get taxidermy stuff. Because if you saw in the last video, Tobin starts his new job on Monday. So we had to get all things done today. First up, I have to dump feed in the in our trash can in our shop for the chickens because we bought it for them yesterday. Skyler's in my view. If you know, you know when it's a good, it's gonna be a good day when the feedback comes off all at one piece, <laughs> one time. I'll get it together today. I'm all over the place. Sorry. Oh, okay. So next up, I'm going to come over here and the swimming pool that we usually leave out for Skylar for the summer. The chickens like to drink out of it, even though they've got water stations all over the property. And I'm going to clean it out and fill it back up because they're spoiled, even though they could go to the watering station closer to the house. But I digress and I will do this just for them. Skylar also uses this. Oh, Tobin's starting his truck, so she thinks he's leaving. So. That's why I got the gloves out, because I poured a little bit of bleach in here. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Cause it's got a little bit of buildup from being out here all summer. I don't want to get it perfect, but it is kind of gross, so. They know this is their watering hole. they don't have water and they do.
Okay, I don't think I showed y'all before picture, but just imagine that being brown all the way through and now it's pink. This little pool right here, we, I think we bought this two years ago and it's been through two summers and two winters. It even survived Snowmageddon. We paid like three, four dollars for this thing. Oh my goodness. Cheap watering system for your chickens. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one over to the silkies. Oh, you guys, these silkies. If you've watched our other channel, our other channel, we don't have another channel. Y'all, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry guys. If you watched our other videos, you know I've had nothing but, uh, I'll say trouble this year with this hatch that we just had about a month ago with the silkies. Um, I'm changing out the water because they're bigger now so I can put a bigger water watering system in there. They had the smaller one for a long time because if you guys remember back in the spring, no, back in the end of the summertime, we had a baby chick somehow get into one of our bigger watering bowls. I still don't understand how because the, the baby's like this big and the watering bowl's like this big. Somehow got in there and it drowned. So I've been super, super cautious of anything water in their pen but they're bigger now so i'm gonna put a bigger system in there just what i just showed you because i'm having to fill that water up every couple days um and now in other news one of the babies has developed a growth on its eye um i've googled it and i know right now with the weather it could be respiratory but it literally has no other symptoms it's not breathing heavy there's no snot coming out no discharge from the eyes all the other birds are fine my thought process is we've got one of our hens in here we hatched her out like three or four months ago and i've seen her kind of pick on him a little bit a couple times and i haven't thought much of it and i'm wondering if she pecked him and now it's an infection in the eye um, it's about the size of a grape on its eye. We did get some of the infection out yesterday um, just by squeezing it. Uh, it was not ideal. Um, but it's acting fine, so I'm not even remotely having the thought process of having to cull it right now because it's eating, it's drinking, it's moving, it's flying, it's doing all the things active that the other chick is doing, so I'm not doing that anytime soon um we did get vet rx we started that last night um i've been cleaning it um every couple times a day it came on really fast um i didn't even see it until yesterday and it's not getting worse but it's not getting better so today i think tobin and i are going to try and just squeeze it and see if we can get the rest of the infection out because it's that's all it is it's like the infection is just right there in the eyelid and um we're gonna try to see if we can squeeze it out. Ooh, it's so gross. Anyways, so if you follow along, I, I, these silkies, this hatch that we've had, I, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm not up for the chicken hatching business. <laughs> because we had five, one of them drowned, two of them got taken by the hawk. Let's see, that's five, yeah, three, and now we have two left, and one of them has a growth on its eye. And I may just cry if we lose it. The good thing is she can't see. He, it, whatever, cannot see me to catch it. So here it is, guys. It actually looks a little bit better today. I'm 
I'm gonna let him go. Oopsie. So, like I said, there's no other symptoms. Uh, I, I Googled it because you know that's what you do when you don't know anything and Google it and then you just Google and you Google and you Google more and then you Google more and then you've got yourself all confused. But, I know that there's two types of common uh, sicknesses, I guess, when chickens' eyes swell up like that. And neither one of them, I don't think it's it, the case for, I don't think that's what we're dealing with. Could be wrong, been wrong before. But the eye, there's no drainage from the nose, it's not breathing hard. Eat. I don't know guys I don't know I'm sure y'all will let me know though um so again we're just gonna try to keep treating the infection I need to get it open a little bit we're not gonna use any like we're not gonna poke it we're not gonna open it up or anything like with a knife no way um I'm in the shed again we're not gonna do any of that because that would just be dangerous it's right on the baby's eye but we are going to try to pop it and see if we can get the infection out. And then just, if I can pop it, I feel like if I can get an opening to the eye, I can start putting medication on it. It'll kind of start seeping in there. Ooh Do y'all feel like y'all ran a marathon with me? You should. I feel like I ran a marathon. Okay, I'm going to go see what Tobin's doing. One of the coolest things about our channel is things that people send us. We get really excited when we have companies reach out to us and want to sponsor a video. Especially this time of year, they sent, we had a company called High C. They reached out to us and wanted to send us some work boots for Tobin. And then they wanted to send me some mud boots, which during taxidermy season is super, super important because I'm walking in and out of the shop into where power washing's happening. I'm dealing with really gross stuff that I don't want to get on my shoes. So anyways, they sent me some mud boots. Today's my first day that I'm using them. Today's going to be the first day that I'm really going to be really knee deep and stuff. But these are the mud boots. This is actually a men's size. Um, it's a six. But you can see they're more, they're similar to the Muck brand. Um, so I'm going to put these on and I'll tell you what I think. I hope you guys can hear me. I've been outside working some freezing. I'll take that off. Um, I want to give you an update on the mud boots. There they are. They have for sure got to work out today. I really do like them. Um, I've been on my feet for the past six or seven hours in them and my feet do not hurt at all I have really really sensitive feet too so um, they're really actually warm they're they feel insulated I don't know that they're insulated but it's rainy right now and it's probably in the upper 40s so it's super cold outside and I feel warm so um, I'm just happy. like that it's a week later amazing I wanted to now review the, uh, the mud boots that were sent to me um, from High C. I've had one whole week of using them. I worked in the shop sometimes seven, eight, ten hour days this week, and I was using the power washer, I was using the water hose, I was walking in and out of water, and I'm telling you, I'm super, super impressed with this uh, these boots. I don't think I've had another pair of mud boots that worked as well as these do. They're completely waterproof. <clears throat> Even when I was doing the power washer, there was no water getting in there. Um, and then nothing, this is pretty heavy duty. This is really solid and really thick. I'm sorry, they're disgusting right now. You can tell that I wore them a whole bunch. Um, the other positive was 
I was on my feet for so long and they are super comfortable to wear. My feet didn't hurt at the end of the day. The only reason my feet did hurt is because I'd been on my feet for so long, but they weren't sore from walking around in the mud boots. I was really, really super happy about them. Um, they do come in women's sizes, so if that is something you're interested in, you can check on that side or on the women's sizes, but you can also buy the men's sizes. You know, they're always interchangeable and comparable, so. Um, they also make waders, which Tobin and the boys are really excited about. I think they're going to do a little duck hunting this year, so we're going to check them out. Super, super excited about that. But overall, I am so impressed with the product. Again, it is High C H I S E A. They are going to give you a 20% off um, anything on the site with their boots um, using the coupon code coupon code 5 Family. We're going to link it down below. You guys go check them out. Um, you will not be disappointed. It's a great product and we're really excited to partner with them. We're excited that they sent us the product to try and we hope you guys um, like them as much as we do. So 